Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the United States and Mrs. Reagan. Mr. President, Mrs. Reagan, these are the men and women and their families that make Camp David what it is. The Marines, the sailors, the Seabees, the soldiers, the airmen, the park rangers, all have been hand-selected for presidential support. Each one plays a key role in making the presidential retreat the safe, secure, relaxing place that the first family needs to stay away, or to get away from the Washington scene. Each one also is especially proud to have served a president and first lady who have done so much for America. You have turned this country around. There's a new pride in America. We wear our uniforms with that new pride. We also have been reminded of our heritage, what our flag stands for. And we understand what it is to fight for freedom and the importance of freedom, not only from tyranny and oppression, but also freedom from drugs. So we, in a small part here at Camp David in serving you, have felt that we have also been a part of that revolution and today would like to take this opportunity just to thank you for all that you have done. I'd like to first introduce, representing the Catoctin Mountain Park, Park Ranger Keith Kelly. As employees of the National Park Service in Catoctin Mountain Park, it's a pleasure to uh, present you with these flowers uh, in appreciation for your outstanding stewardship here at Camp David. You have made many fine improvements and it was a pleasure serving you. Next, I'd like to introduce representing the Navy personnel of Naval Support Facility, Petty Officer First Class Dennis Edwards, and also representing the Camp David Detachment of the White House Communications Agency, Staff Sergeant Bob Ellis. Mr. President, Mrs. Reagan, we know how much Camp David has meant to you over the past eight years, and we're extremely proud to have served our commander. Mr. President, I'd like to say that it's an honor to be up here today, take part in this ceremony and this presentation to you, and I'm glad that our families are here to share in this moment. We also wanted this gift to have a personal touch. On the back, you'll find three Camp David placemats, and on those placemats are the signatures of many of these crew members that stand before you today. We hope that you and Mrs. Reagan will look upon these names and remember your visits here kindly. On a personal note, I'd like to say that I've served here at Camp David on the switchboard for the past five and a half years and spoke with both you and Mrs. Reagan many times. I'm often asked by family and friends, what is it like to speak with the president? What kind of person is he? I've always had the same reply, that you were the kindest, most congenial, friendliest person I've ever had an opportunity to work for. I hope that you will take my wishes from the switchboard, Camp David, all of Waka, and all of us here today, that we will miss you and good luck. Goodbye, Mr. President. On behalf of the Marine Security Company, Camp David, I'd like to introduce Lance Corporal Jim Crawford. President, Ms. Reagan, on behalf of all the men and women here at Camp David, I'd like to present to you a shadow box that contains the presidential flag that was flown over Camp David during your last visit. It is always an honor for we Marines to raise your flag before each arrival. Your flag has always flew proud, and you've always made sure that the American flag was flew proudly. We will miss you both. Semper Fidelis, God bless, and God speed. Thank you. Well, I can't tell you how full our hearts are with this particular ceremony here and also with these magnificent gifts. We, you should know, I think, that Camp David, the good ship Camp David, really makes possible living in Washington. The knowledge that you are here and that we can come up here to this beautiful place. When I became president, I used to tell some people, uh, 
a little facetiously that having had a military experience of my own, I had only become president in order to reinstate the horse cavalry in the military. Well, thanks to the park rangers and thanks to the uh, our park police and all of you, uh, at least one cavalryman got to ride <laughs> up, up here, and that was me, and that was a, a very important part of, of our being here. We knew that we had only had a few hours, that we could only come up here just barely as yesterday and overnight, but we had to to have a farewell ourselves to this place that has meant so much to us. And I know it'll mean that much to succeeding presidents. So again, just let me say to all of you, this is, you have added so much to the life that we've lived for these last eight years. And you will always be in our, our hearts and minds. And this is, Farewell. This is what is the bitter part of the bittersweet uh, parting that we are undergoing right now as we face these last few days. And believe me, uh, this is and has been a most important part of our lives. These, these gifts uh, we shall treasure, believe me. And thank you all very much. Thank you, Mr. President, Mrs. Reagan. Godspeed and best wishes from all of us. United States departing.